uh, first and foremost, I just want to tell all of you that don't panic. Don't worry about all these changes. And don't think about what is going to happen after this notification of the change of exam pattern of NEET SS 2024. So first of all, if it was mentioned in bulletin or not, if it is going to affect it, if it's going to delay it or nothing, don't think about all that. There is no change which you have to make in your preparation strategy. You have to keep revising the way you are revising. I'll try to keep this session very quick and very quickly. I'll tell you that how you are going to address this. And also in a few, in one, like, I think in one or two days, I'll be rolling out an update of the app in which, after which you'll be able to practice out in all the mocks. I'll be enabling the section based mode. So now, first of all, what some of you have a query, let's clarify it. So one is the 150 question paper is now going to be divided into three parts of 50, 50, 50 each having 50 minutes. Okay. And you will appear for this 50 questions. Once the 50 minute ends, then only you'll be able to move on to section B. So if you see this, if you read this carefully, they've already given what is what it is going to be. So for this, this means that candidate can go through in a section. So when you mark the 50 questions or the section A, you can go through them before the allotted time for that section ends. That means that you are going to appear for three papers of 50 questions each. Very simple. Don't be in any kind of confusion that you are going to have time before you move on or you'll be having time to review those questions. No, you'll be appearing for one exam of 50 questions in 50 minutes one, once that ends. You will not be able to review them. After that, the second section will start 50 minutes, 50 questions. After that, the third section will start and then the exam will end. So now the important is that I have covered, I have told you what it is going to be. You will be appearing for three sections, 50 questions each per session, per section, 50 minutes. You'll be able to go through them, review them, attempt them, revise them in that 50 minutes only. Once that ends, then the section B will start, section A will get locked. You won't be able to go through them, okay? So that is very simple. And yes, it is not going to be any topic wise or anything. It is going to be random 50 questions. There is no delineation that a particular portion will come in section ABC. It is going to be all random. How we are also having our mocks, 150 questions, random bunch. It will be like that. Just they have divided, okay? Now, very important thing, what I want you to remember is that each 50 minutes you have to think that this is your final exam which is going to decide what score you are going to do because when you had 150 questions you could plan out that if some questions you don't know at the end you will think about them but now in your hands you have to think that how to score maximum in those 50 questions then the next and then the next and the first and foremost important thing what you all need to remember yeah. So I'll cover almost everything. So if you have any doubts or if you have any queries, just mention in the chat box. I'll try to take in between or at the end. So don't worry about them. And also be available on WhatsApp for all your queries. So don't worry. So first thing, you'll all have one minute for one question. And the video what I put on YouTube, which I shared in the group, already I mentioned in that. And also what I have also told you before that, also when you had 150 question, 150 minute, that your goal should be to attempt each question in 40 seconds, leave the 20 second for revision or you save that time at the end. So now you won't have time at the end of 150 minutes. Now you will have to do in between in that section. So if you have 50 questions into this 40 seconds, that means you have 2000 seconds. Sorry, I'll be calculating a little bit. So here you will be having around 30, 30 to 35 minutes to solve all the 50 questions. And ideally you should keep 10 to 15 minutes 
at the end to revise so that is your goal that is you have to keep your eye on the timer during the sol solving of the question and as soon as keep your eye whenever you start a question just see the timer you have to immediately switch to next question once the 40 second timer ends for one question that is how you will be able to attempt all properly have time at the end to revise those 50 questions because remember you won't get time to come to that questions again now why i'm emphasizing on this not to scare you all but so that you have that embedded in your mind that now you are going to appear for a paper of 50 questions and that you'll be appearing for three papers so if you see as i told that you can attempt up to 140 to 142 if it was a tough paper or 144 to 146 if it was slightly easy paper but now as you have 50 50 50 so now what i will suggest is that roughly you should try and attempt maximum of 44 to 46 per paper and if the paper is easier you should try and attempt up to 46 to 48 that is what i'll advise you this is a rough number what i'll be telling you that try to live the uh, skip maximum two to four questions per section because you don't know that the section what you have attempted what is the next section questions how are they going to be you may have to skip more in that so try to be smart in this and don't be panicked even if one section is tough if the initial section is tough or if the second section is tough don't get panicked remember that you have to treat each section as one paper and you have to try and attempt as much as possible but don't go berserk and attempt all 50 thinking that later on you will have margin to skip that is not how you are going to score you should try and minimum of two maximum of roughly four to five questions per section that is a very large number what i'm giving you but try to be conservative and also intelligent that if you don't know completely you should skip it don't try and attempt if you are not aware about the options or question or the topic if you are aware about the question if you think that you are little bit on the safer side you want to play you can skip it if you feel that you are the section is tough you have to leave more or you have to skip more then try and attempt the one in which you are having 60 percent 50 60 percent confidence that okay this may be the option so this is how according to me you can go about this section based time bound section based paper so i'll just quickly revise that you have 40 seconds per question the 20 seconds should be kept for revision don't try and go over this limit i'll be i am telling you this multiple times even during this mock exams also that try and practice your time management because that is very important because even if it was 150 questions and now section based this is what is going to help you if you save time you'll have time for revision and <clears throat> if per section you are able to save 10 to 15 minutes for revision trust me that you will be able to score better and again i'll repeat that don't change the answers if in the mock exams you have seen that by changing you're making incorrect don't change at the end when you revise revise only the first of all i'll tell you that mark for review only those questions where you are confused or you don't know don't just keep on mark for review even if you've answered it just because you want to see it later on don't do that just mark where you're confused between the two options or you don't know at all so try to reduce the number of marks for review and when you have the time at the end revise only those marks for review first after that is done if you wish to go go through the all the questions if you have time before the next section starts then go through otherwise try and do only this mark for review don't try and change or attempt the ones which have already answered there is a definite chance that in trying to overthink you will make it incorrect so try to apply this okay and important is not to get panicked right now not to think about will case happen will the exam be delayed no point in thinking all that because that is not in your hands whatever nba has to do they have done whatever is going to happen will happen 
So right now, just concentrate on your revision. Keep this in your mind. Once I'll enable the time bound section mock, just practice them if you want to. So now, if you guys have any queries, let me know. I'll be able to, I'll address them. See, right now, you all will feel definitely exhausting. But remember that this is the final push which you need to give. So don't lag behind right now. Second thing, while revising, you will feel that you are not able to recollect. Don't worry. In the exam, it is not going to be a theory paper where you have to write and you have to recollect. You are going to have the questions in front of you, the options in front of you, one correct answer in front of you. And if you have revised well, the answer will strike and you will be able to answer very easily. So don't worry about that. In between, in the day, if you're feeling that you're getting tired, give yourself 10 minutes, close your eyes, do deep breathing, then restart, you'll be able to regain the pace. Don't keep on studying, thinking that I'm wasting time. Even 10 minutes of break will give you push for next one hour. So that is what I'll advise. If you want to study and review as much as you can, you should do it, but try and be intelligent that the try and revise the ones which you are feeling weak or you are not happy with your performance in those topics in the mocks, revise them first towards the exam, revise them again and in between revise the ones which you are okay or you are confident about. There is no fixed list of topics so don't ask anybody about that. You have to revise everything but you have to prioritize according to your strengths and weaknesses. I will advise you now that last 10 days now because they have changed the pattern i'll be enabling the time bound section based mocks for in the all the mocks so just practice one or two if you have not practiced out of all the decathlon you can practice any of them preferably the national mock so practice them and if you have already done them just for the sake of understanding how it is working you can give maximum one or maximum two not more than that in this last 10 days for the MCQ practice, just practice the bookmark questions or the ones which are made incorrect or the tough ones which are marked. So right now is the time only to practice the bookmark questions, nothing else. So bookmark questions, revision of theory, revision of tables, charts, images, revision of theory topics from your notes or rapid revision notes or the bookmark questions of MCQ bank or the mock exam. That is all what you should be doing. Don't practice anything new or don't just keep on practicing the whole question bank. Don't do that. So I hope that addresses and I hope this helps you all. So best of luck. Don't worry. Don't get panicked. It is just a slight change or deviation in the path. Otherwise it is remaining same.